You know when you would drive down First Avenue and you'd look toward the waterfront, you'd always see the viaduct kind of there between you and the waterfront? Well, at the end of Marion Street here, this is the last place you can do that today. And just in the last few hours, the road deck here has been brought down on both levels. With just days left of summer, the greatest show of tourist season is winding down. It's been more than seven months worth of destruction. And now this is all that's left of the Alaskan Way Viaduct on the waterfront. Yeah, this has been super exciting. We've been watching this come apart for months. And Jamie Burton and Mike Barron have had front row window seats in this building where they work. What was pretty wild was when they were actually tearing it down over here, you could actually feel the building shake. And there were some people that were kind of complaining, like, I'm getting seasick. This last section remained as an island for months because it was the chunk that held up the old pedestrian bridge for ferry passengers. Now that bridge has been replaced and the island can go. But this isn't the end of the job. Further to the north, out of sight to most of us, the single deck lanes heading in and out of the old Battery Street Tunnel partially remain. Because much of that is built over the railroad tracks, contractors have had to work within the railroad's train schedule late at night. On February 15th, less than two weeks after the tunnel under Seattle opened, the contractor began chipping away at the Columbia Street on-ramp. Now is a sign that things are winding down Two giant dump trucks carrying the California contractor's logo are up for sale. And while many may miss the viaduct and the sunset drives from the top deck, this big wide area is opened up for parks, a wider Alaskan Way surface street, and it's hoped will become a bigger destination for locals and tourists alike. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some trees down here. Yeah. yeah. So after a couple of years of tunnel delays, getting that open, you might ask yourself, so was the teardown going on schedule? Well, the Department of Transportation says, yes, it is. In downtown Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.